Hi, my name is uh, Jonathan Cliff, uh, and I was nominated for the TV show People of Earth. Every day was a constant challenge. I mean, um, you think that uh, at a half hour of television is sort of easy to shoot, but it's really, uh, the show is a comedy, but it was also science fiction and, uh, you know, people were abducted by aliens. So there was a lot of big sort of technical cinematic things involved in the show as, long, as well as just, you know, uh, amazing, well-written dialogue and funny stuff. Then there would be, you know, someone getting sucked up by a spaceship in the middle of the night in a field somewhere. So it, it was a real range of things, and it was kind of uh, that was the biggest challenge was trying to, you know, make sense of that those different worlds. I guess I have always been a fan of Panavision and their lenses. They have the greatest legacy of making glass in North America, at least. So uh, that was my first choice, and luckily enough, the the finances worked out that we were fortunate enough to use uh, Panavision lenses and uh, Airy we shot with a Mini and an Amira, a Mini for putting on uh, steady cams and cranes and stuff and an Amira, uh, which, uh, you know, these are my, probably my favorite combination of things is Airy and uh, I love Panavision glass. We worked with uh, Mr. X, I don't know if you're familiar with that company, and um, they they were very present uh, all the time, and you know, they it was e quite easy to work with them. They knew what they were doing, and um, because it was a complex show in that it had a mix of very natural, gritty-looking stuff, and then elements of science fiction. And uh, I found that uh, you know, it w they made it, they facilitated the jumping back and forth between you know, massive green screen effects shots and the smaller, sort of more human element of the show. We posted the show at Technicolor, which along with Panavision is my, you know, I love the history of Technicolor, the legacy that they have in Hollywood, all the things they've developed over the years, and my favorite colorist in Canada is Jim Fleming, and I had, you know, I was fortunate enough to work with him there, and Brian Reed at Technicolor were of enormous help, and I, I hope that, you know, I think we're about to start shooting season two so all that's gonna happen again and it's gonna be amazing I'm so happy that I'm there